Well, ovarian cancer is uh, one of the silent killers. Um, it presents very late, and most of the time when it presents, patients have no options rather, other than having surgery followed by chemotherapy. And at the moment, the chemotherapy we give to patients is not selective. That means that every patient has to have the same chemotherapy, which has got side effects. And in certain proportion of women, this treatment won't work. Now, what we have now is a new anti-cancer drug called PARP inhibitor, which has been shown to be pretty effective in a very small group of women with ovarian cancer, women who have a genetic defect which get, gets them to have this cancer in future or they develop cancer because of this genetic defect. But at the moment, that's only 10% of women with cancers who will benefit from this drug. Now, what we think, there's actually much more, I mean, it could be up to 50 to 60% of women with cancer could have similar kind of problems, and therefore, if we can identify those ladies, they will respond to this drug. And this drug is new, it's effective, it has got less side effects, and I think the main benefit is that we are now looking into something called an individualized treatment or a personalized medicine. So that's, the I think, the basis of the test that, you know, that will classify or that can be identify women who will benefit from this sort of drug. And it's a huge step. I think not only in ovarian cancer, but I think the moment the way going the cancer research is going all over the world, people are more and more trying to develop these kind of tests so that you give the right treatment to the right patient. This test is done from, at the minute, we're doing from body fluid. The cancer patients, they have operation in the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Gateshead. And during operation, body fluids inside their abdomen is collected, and that is transported straight to the lab. The, all the patients give cons consent for this kind of research beforehand. And then in the lab, you grow the cancer cells and do the test to uh, identify uh, whether uh, these cancer cells have got a certain amount of defect which renders them sensitive to this drug. So you test for the defect, and then you test whether the drug is going to act on these cells. And that's how you can differentiate between there will be patients in whom the drug will respond, there will be patients in whom the drug will not respond. And at the minute, as we predicted beforehand, it's like 50-50.